right, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? Make sure I have all my stuff, all my ducks in a row. <clears throat> How do I actually minimize this? You know what? I'll figure that out later. But how are you doing? How's everybody doing this fine morning? I have to get everything ready because I had to shut down my computer. So I don't know what that dog is doing upstairs, but it's a little weird. Thirteen people watching. Thank you guys for for sticking by and you know watching the content. I appreciate it. Good morning, everybody. Anybody who's anybody, I appreciate it. Let me set up a thumbnail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Robert, how's it going? It It's going pretty good. How's everything for you? Good morning. Good work. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Gene. Good morning, Justin. Good morning, Stephen. Uh, you go live, Pat, during AMC slash GME. Uh, do I go live? Y yes. I don't know how to answer that question. But yes, I go live. Every morning. Well, I try to go live every morning. Sometimes it doesn't doesn't happen, but uh, AMC price action. Up, down, or sideways. Yes. Happy trading, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Yes, it is a, a Friday. I don't know if it'll be a great Friday or even a good Friday. Um, but... We're seeing some movement. I don't know what the heck's going on here. Let me auto adjust this. It's just weird. Um, AMC is down and so is, or actually GME is up. So that's interesting. Great, thanks. Just relaxing, waiting for the, the plane to send me down and crack. Yeah, yes. I hear you. Do you live stream during the, the market open? I don't live stream during the market open. I have a nine to five that I actually work. So I can really only live stream during the morning. I used to do the first 30 minutes, but things started to get uh, crazy at at work. And there's a lot of things I need to catch up with, especially with year end close. So it's um, a little tricky. So I don't stream for that long anymore. I used to stream like I would stream um, in the beginning. I think it was three hours. Right. Um, and then I went to streaming very, very early. It was like from five o'clock to 10 o'clock. So it would still be, uh, it'd still be like five hours or so. Um, and I would stream 30 minutes, you know, into the open, but, um, now it's only down to like two hours. Once we start getting, uh, back to, you know, everything taking off, then uh, possibly I'll stream a little bit more. Uh, most likely I will. I'll stream a little bit early because that's usually there's nobody on at that time. So I just want to make sure that people understand what's going on early in the morning, you know, at five o'clock or so. I still won't stream too far into the open just because I, I can't. You know, I have a nine to five. If this would have taken off a little bit more then uh, I mean, it's possible that I could have went like half time or something, but that's not that's not the case. Um, I thank God you're still here. What the heck is going on with the with the other YouTubers that have been uh, optimistic about AMC suddenly backing off all at the same time? It's freaking me out. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I, I don't think I don't think it's a uh, the real Clay, bro. That's not that's not Clay, bro. Uh, but yeah, what was I gonna say? about them backing off at the same time. Uh, I did see Trey's video talking about how he um, is going to be focusing on like AMC or not focusing on AMC. He's, he's going to obviously 
he's still into AMC, but everything is like the same and it's not really changing. So he's still going to do his updates, but he's also going to get people more content. I don't, I don't think that's a bad idea. Obviously he wants to continue what he started with, you know, the channel, but, um, I understand where you're coming from. It feels like everybody's like taking a break off of what's going on. We all understand what's going to happen with the squeeze, but if we cover it less, I think it creates less, uh, you know, interest in it. So, um, I guess what people tend to do on YouTube is you expand your channel a little bit. So he started out with obviously investing and it's a different form of investing, not just this buy and hold mentality. You obviously want to look at it as a, with a day trading and swing trading mindset, but that's not every investment that he, that he takes place in. But then, then again, he said that he's not going to talk about other investments. Uh, he's going to talk about, you know, educational stuff. So it's always interesting. So I don't know. I'm, I'm still here. Um, I'll, I'll try and, you know, I'll post as much as I can for, for AMC and GME and uh, cryptocurrency as well. Um, I just seen that they were talking about AMC and uh, what was it? It was, oh yeah. They like somebody wanted or had a great idea with Dogecoin being accepted at AMC. And I don't know if that will ever be a possibility or, you know, if they're looking into that at all, but that would be amazing. You know, if Dogecoin was, was uh, accepted at AMC, then it would be like two of like the quote unquote meme plays that are together. You know, <clears throat> I'm not feeling confident about today. The market is, uh, is in this summer mode. Yeah, I mean, it, it just seems like every time we get to a certain point, they want to bring us back um, because of options. I mean, it, I think it's all option plays that they want to they want us to lose money on so that we lose hope in playing options and we stop playing as many options as we have been playing. But from what I've seen, most people have been playing options further out instead of uh, playing these short term options that they were before. You know, so I'm playing a couple of option plays that are um, that are out till December. I might play some that are out further than that. So, yeah. It's interesting what's happening to Amazon. Um, I haven't looked into Amazon. Let's actually look at that. Uh, Amazon's down 6%. It's down $234. I mean, that's that's what happens when you're up so high. Right. Amazon drops down uh, quite a bit. I don't think it's being like heavily shorted or anything. Um, I just think you're seeing a, a little bit of a, a sell off in something that uh, historically doesn't have that big of a sell off. You know, a lot of people buy Amazon and hold it like it's some sort of ETF or mutual fund or something because it has growth potential. Um, but uh, it's up at a pretty high market cap, one point five trillion dollar market cap, which is just insane. Um, so either way, I mean, when you have thousands of dollars worth of a share or worth per share, um, it, it tends to move quite a bit, you know, obviously $234 is a big jump or, or drop, but good morning, Matt and all good morning. Uh, thanks for being so transparent. Uh, you're seriously underrated. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. Uh, did you see Tesla jump yesterday? <clears throat> no, they made a, a really decent jump. See, that's the thing. I can't really um, focus on like a lot in the market. They did jump a little bit, up about $30. Um, I've seen them move a lot more um, in a day. And I guess most people are just hoping that that gets back up to, you know, certain levels. Gets up to, you know, $800, $900, $1,000. You never really know. I just hope to see you know, the markets at their lows and you can go from there. So just worked, uh, 13 hours ready for sleep. Can't wait to retire. AMC army. Yes. Yeah. I hear you. Good morning. Good vibes. Good gains. Yes. Check out Matt reacts channel underrated. Yes. You're, you're absolutely right. You know what? Matter of fact, um, uh, you know what? I was going to post that in there, but I should look at my, I should focus on my Twitter. Guys, um, anybody that's watching, make sure you go and uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm going to put this. Uh, I don't even know if it's in the description, but.
So I'll pin that message. But thank you for saying that. Yeah, I, I love the Matt's Reacts channel. I just want to uh, create reaction videos there. I won't. It's not going to be anything that um, has, you know, super like consistency. I guess it's probably going to be something where I do it like three times a week. Maybe a little more, depending, um, you know, how much time I have and how many things are out there. There's always things that I can react to. So um, whether it's AMC or I'm reacting to some sort of money issue, definitely, um, you know, give that channel a subscribe. Uh, did you see Tesla jump yesterday? I just read that. Uh, good morning, Mac. I just read that. Um, it's Bugazi classic, but true. Yeah. We hit four, uh, 47 times yesterday. Yeah, it's a little ridiculous. What is that annoying clicking noise? My sweets. I don't, is there a clicking noise? Is there a clicking noise? Is there a clicking noise? I don't hear anything. I just I just played my sound. I don't I don't hear anything. Um morning everyone. We are we're going to two hundred today. We run it on Friday. Yeah. I was so sidetracked by AMC and GME that you guys missed other great opportunities. Um, well, I don't have any other cash for other opportunities because every there's a lot that's tied up in AMC and then there's a lot that's tied up in some other plays as well that hasn't been really making moves. But you're right. There's other, um, I don't think we're sidetracked with AMC. I just think we're, we kind of have that tunnel vision. We're ready for AMC and GME to blow. And it's not necessarily about being sidetracked. It's about... Um, you know, sticking to your goal, you know, it, it's just like, uh, you know, people that run sideways on the football field, you'd rather go from, from A to B, get there, you know, as straight as possible. But some people will go back and forth like that. So that's basically what other people are doing is instead of, you know, having that vision of the end zone, they're seeing the sidelines, you know, and then eventually they see the end zone. And that's not always the way you play it unless you're down in the last, you know, two minutes or so. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, do you think the market uh, crash is still happening? It seems like the market uh, was down a day, but went back up. What are your thoughts? I don't think a, a crash is still happening. I think we're seeing some um, more or less consolidation to where a lot of things are. Um, you are seeing some dips some days, but you're seeing some increases some days. The dips are a little bit more than the increasings. So, you know, we could see it go up 2%, but and then it goes down 5%. And that's just not really ideal, especially for people that are, you know, buying positions rather than, you know, uh, you know, selling it or shorting it or anything like that. Um, so my thoughts are we're still like in the middle of it. I don't think um, we're in that portion of where we're seeing a huge like dip. Like that's not what we're looking for or that's not what we're seeing. Um, we're just seeing the, the ebbs and flows of the market, you know, as we get into this consolidation phase and then we're going to find that that bull run eventually. But it's just going to take some time. Um, and it, it, to tell you the truth, when we actually see AMC and GME run, if there's nothing that's put in place for them, you know, to, you know, cover like cover their shorts without having to take out their assets. We might see more of a crash with a lot of these um, pretty big positions. So the overall market might end up crashing quite a bit. Um, what's up, Rob? Yeah, hit that like button, everybody. If you do have a chance to hit the like button, it, it does help. You know, we got... Uh, we got 108 people in here. Hit the like button as... As much as you can. Synthetic counts until rules change. For the like button, yeah. I just found out my wife is is pregnant, so I can't uh, wait for AMC to hit. Uh, two life changing things are happening soon. Thanks for your live streams. <clears throat> no problem, no problem. And it's always great. That, that's amazing. Um, that you know your wife's pregnant, and you know you're gonna have a child or uh, maybe two, I don't know. Um, but that's amazing. I, I was supposed to get on here at seven o'clock. I think I got on here a little bit later, like 10 minutes late because 
I I need to say bye to my children. Like I I just I don't know. Harper got her like she was um with a babysitter yesterday, uh, and she got her hair braided and it's. I, I don't know why I have trouble braiding her hair. I can braid hair, but uh, I had trouble braiding her hair because, like, it just sticks together. It's it's weird. I, so, I don't know. But, yeah. And now she doesn't want to take that braid, the braids out. So, I don't know. I wanted to redo her hair and everything, but it's fine. Uh, gave her a hug and then off to daycare. The joy of having children uh let's make some money today uh let's make some money plays today my friends yes yes we should it was when you were typing oh uh, okay that makes sense congratulations to you and your wife no no it was a it was the band you was you was playing with Oh, oh, this band that I'm playing with. The, oh, okay. The band that I'm playing with or the type in, one of the two. Sorry. Because you have a great microphone. I, I mean, this microphone is, is trash. I don't like this microphone. I still haven't made it, like, it got an upgrade or anything like that. I should probably do that. Every time I think about it, I just uh, forget. <laughs> Does your exit plan with AMC change at all if this drags out until December? Any small tweaks? For me, no. Um, I can tell you that I've always had a certain exit plan with uh, this position. And I believe that if this drags out to December before it eventually squeezes, I believe we're going to see at least, uh, you know, 200, 300 before we get to that point. You know, we're going to see this increase quite a bit, but I don't think we're going to see this squeeze all the way. I mean, it can happen at any moment, any time. Um, but I do think we're going to see these these big plays. I'm still going to play some options plays for uh, the long term. Um, but then I'm also going to have my strategy to where. Oh, geez, I pull bits and pieces out at certain levels. So if it gets to $200, I might already pull out like 100 shares of that. Um, and, you know, that may be 100, 100, 150 or something like that. But it depends because if this is still in the FOMO buying stage and they're looking to decrease this with a lot of shorts and continue to double, triple, quadruple down, then no, it doesn't really change for me at least because that money is just sitting there. Everything else now when it comes to Zometica, SOS, all the other plays, then that may change because those are those are supposed to be like, you know, shorter term plays and they're turning into long term plays because of the fact that they're really driven off of what AMC and GME are doing. Um, you know, that's what you're really waiting for with a lot of those plays. However, like I just want to put those into cryptocurrency and if cryptocurrency blows up, obviously I'm putting more and more into cryptocurrency now. So while we're waiting on AMC and GME to, to jump off the stock market uh, for the stock market, everything will solely be in AMC and GME. That's what I'm hoping for. But you know, being down $2,000 each for Zometica and Zom is not really ideal, right? For me at least. I took profits on AMC uh, at late 50s and re-entered at 30. Here's hoping uh, things pick up soon. Well, that's amazing that you were able to um, you know, make that move. I understand that most people, like you have people that will frown upon that, but you know, you've know you've made your moves, took a, a little bit of profits, right? Uh, or took all profits, whatever. And then you actually made a great decision because it went down to the 30s and you basically got a $20 discount on that. Um, maybe you bought more shares or um, you bought less shares with the same amount of um, you know money you had before or sorry you bought more you bought the same shares for less money you know that could be an option as well the UC's trace um, yeah. uh, pivoting out of covering AMC full-time and into more uh, management education love seeing a uh, reaction to this video yeah I, I yeah I can definitely do that um, yeah, I'll I'll definitely do that. Um because I don't I don't think 
I don't think he's becoming unfocused. I think he's um, still going to cover everything, and I'll get into that in the video just so that some people see it. I think he's still going to cover everything, but the thing is, is that it's kind of if you notice from where his channel was in the beginning when he was talking about AMC, he was also putting out other content, um, other investing content. But now I think he's trying to transition into more educational stuff so that people do understand that this is not the way that you truly invest in the stock market. This is like just um, uh, kind of that that odd play, you know, uh, because you don't see squeezes often and they can say, oh, this has squeeze potential. But if it doesn't have a bunch of people holding it, um, then, you know, it's not really truly squeeze potential. You know, it's just like one half of it. So, uh, yeah, I'll do a reaction video of that. Being a parent must be uh, thrilling and scary at the same time. You mean thrilling? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, thrilling and, and scary. I was trying to see if the F was close to the T. <laughs> Thrilling and scary at the same time. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. It, it is. I I worry all the time. Yesterday we were at a a, a baseball game, which I was uh, upset about. Um, I don't really like baseball, but I do like watching sports, so I'll I'll watch it. Um, but the problem is, is that there were a ton of like advertisements, and it felt like we were literally watching it on TV. And I was like, what what in the world? You had two minutes in between each each inning. It's just I, I don't know. It seemed like there was so much stopping and less like action actually playing, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I was at this baseball game and I kept looking behind me thinking like, oh, where's Harper? And we, we didn't have Harper there. She was, she was at home and, uh, you know, she was sleeping. It was, it was too late for her to, to be up. Um, I thought it was okay, but Erica didn't think it was okay. And so, uh, we had her stay home with the babysitter and everything so but anyways i was worried about her being there and like where she was even though i i kind of in the back of my mind knew that she wasn't there he just said he wants to help people um not go broke after the squeeze and especially i'll uh, continue the amc updates yes i have the bell notification on and i don't get recommended for your streams as well it's ridiculous how many shares are you are you holding of amc i have 900 shares of amc i would have i would love to uh, continue to add more um, or just hold on to those. I would like to have an even 1,000, but everybody knows my strategy and what I plan on doing with the positions. Um, the only thing I don't want to do is uh, risk anybody else's squeeze. You know, um, I'll gladly take less money while other people take more money because I know I can make more money, whether it's on YouTube, in the stock market, whatever it is. Uh, so, I'll gladly take less money if I can make instead of making nine million or you know ninety million or whatever, I'm I'm okay with you know making two two million would be great just to have an even one or uh, a, a solid one million that I can put into like an index fund or something, um, or you know three million would be great. But we'll see we'll see how this all plays out because if it gets to uh, you know five. Uh, five thousand dollars worth per share which it definitely can get to uh i will be happy with what i have gained there you know if it gets to ten thousand dollars i'll be happy with what i've gained there obviously um but it's just a little bit tricky so i know at the end of the squeeze or close to the peak of the squeeze wherever the peak ends up being i'll hold probably um you know 10 to 100 shares and let that ride but it depends how high it gets because I have my certain targets that I plan to sell most of it at, um, not just literally one dump out of that that portion, but uh, it's probably going to be you know staggered on the way up. But yeah, 900 shares. Could the squeeze go into 2022? It definitely could. There's there's no there's no uh, saying exactly when the squeeze is because you don't know when when and how they're going to get squeezed out of their position. Um, when, if they're going to just give up or if they're going to physically go bankrupt, whatever, you, you really don't know what they choose to do and what their ultimate plan is. Yes, that's possible. Very awesome. All of us uh, it would take more than a year. It's no longer short term gains, it's long term gains. You pay less in taxes. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> 
Could you clarify how you extended uh, how how extended and pre-market hours are are processed? Not sure how it works for retail traders. So um, for you, for us, I mean, we have to put in like all limit orders. That's the way that all of this uh, works. I don't know the true like workings in the background, like how, like who, uh, you know, is taking this on, who's filling orders, all that stuff. I don't know all that detail. All I really know is that it has less liquidity. It's really uh, somewhere to where like hedge funds, billionaires have more of an option to trade and get their orders filled than us. Um, I can put in an order for 100 shares and it won't get filled until the end of the pre-market. <clears throat> Sometimes it'll get filled quick. Sometimes it won't get filled at all. Uh, it's just it has less liquidity, so it doesn't move as fast. Less volume goes through it. Like I said, everything's filled with uh, limit orders. It's most likely when when people are not really watching it as you know as intently. So I don't really know the inner workings behind the scenes, but I just know that it's uh, less liquid, and that's where I don't like to trade. If I'm going to day trade or swing trade or anything like that, anything that's less liquid, it just doesn't make sense. Is he plans to still do regular updates on AMC? Uh, I guess I'll just skip past some stuff. Oh, wait, no, I don't need to. As he plans to still do regular, uh, I just read that. Uh, new AMC, SEC filing. Hey, man, can you... Uh, Please look up uh, the workhorse or text data. Uh, yeah, let me bring this over here. Give me a second. Trying to find it. I don't know their their ticker symbol. Uh, w. KHS. So you're looking at about uh, 35 percent, um, you know, short interest of free float, uh, which is 40, 40 million, 40.33 million uh, shares on loan, uh, 69 million with utilization of 96. For the last uh, few reporting cycles, you've seen this above 40 or close to it, I guess. You look at uh, June 30th. So there you go. Let's see if I can go back. Yeah. Okay. Uh. New SEC filing. Hmm. Uh, United States Securities Exchange Commission Form Eight K. Entertainment Holdings for. Hmm. let's see any thoughts on crypto amp yeah i mean my thoughts for crypto is that or for amp specifically let me actually bring up coinbase a little bit so i hold i hold five thousand coins of amp i think it's five thousand five hundred forty one coins i want to say that's the exact number <clears throat> i'm not 100 percent sure uh yeah, 5,541 coins. Uh, I do believe in this position. Just know that it does have uh, 46 billion, 46, 46 billion uh, in supply. Let's actually scroll down here. 
Yeah, it's 46 billion or 42 billion in supply. So the full potential of that obviously is pretty high. People push for that to um, make those moves up to a dollar. It can make those moves. Typical hold time is 34 days, which is really, really good. Um, you know, it's ninth most held on Coinbase. Obviously, people want this thing to increase and they're going to continue to buy it. But um, we are seeing as of now, the trading activity is a 53% sell, 47% buy. Maybe people were making those large moves as you've seen in the last week. It did make a move up from five cents all the way up to uh, eight cents or nine cents. So you've seen that increase, which if people are holding a, a ton of shares at some of these lower levels, because if we look at a month, it goes down to four cents. If people are holding a ton of shares at these lower levels, literally you're adding on, you know, you know, one cent, two cent, you're adding on a whole nother, um, you're basically doubling in, in value. So if you're holding $10,000, you just doubled that into $20,000, just that easy. So um, for me, obviously I'm going to continue to hold on to this position and uh, possibly buy more because if this does get down to some of these levels again, I'll continue to buy, continue to look for that to increase uh, to certain levels <clears throat> and uh, go from there. Because right now I have about 300 or $400 worth of value for, um, oh, I'm covering it, 300 or $400 worth of, of value here. But I do believe in AMP as a position, um, not really getting into the use case much, but um yeah, just the potential of it does show a lot, especially with the whole time being that high for something that's that low priced. <clears throat> I did end up buying into QNT, but we'll get into that uh, a little bit. <clears throat> I appreciate your actual knowledge and experience in finance applied to this play. Other channels seem to uh, be FOMO cheerleaders respect. Well, thank you. It means a lot. Uh, good morning. What happened uh, in the market after hours? I I click. What is that? Is that a certain thing? Oh, you're looking at this. Oops. Um, I don't, I don't know. This is something that I'm, I'm not aware of seeing these, these small, like after hours. I don't know why you would see something like that. It's not something that I'm used to. So I don't know. I don't know the answer to that because I don't see any after hours activity. So I can't. Can't really help you with that. Um, limit orders, people. Good morning, uh, good morning, Matt, Ape Nation. Uh, thank you for the DD and your hard work. Well, no problem. I mean, um, that's what I'm here for. Literally, do as much as possible to help you guys out. Obviously, um, I'm trying to take some time to <clears throat> do as many things as possible. So, um, I will continue to cover this uh, same time period that I have been and, uh, you know, uploading videos as well, but also, you know, I do want to upload other things. Some people are asking me for like credit card content. I'm getting a lot of comments on my credit card videos that I uh, used to make asking me, Hey, what's your opinion on these cards? I haven't seen a credit card video from you in a while, you know? Can't seem to open it properly on my phone. <clears throat> uh, this is on the chat real, real fast. Smash the like button on my phone. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for, for hitting the like button. Anything worthwhile? Uh, for the the SEC filing, I don't really see too much anything at all. Actually, I'm trying to figure out what it's what it's for. The court date, the earliest uh, event is twenty uh, July twenty ninth. AMC Entertainment Holdings Inc. Um,
section 13 or 15D of the security exchange. Yeah, I don't see much. Being announced on July 6th, the company withdrew a proposal to amend the company's uh, third amended uh, restated certificate of expiration to increase the total number of shares of the Class A common stock. And uh, the company shall have uh, authorized, oh, sorry, authority to issue. The proposed five to meeting is not necessary. Matter submitted the stockholders at the annual meeting and the, the voting results were as follows. Stockholders, um, stockholders approve on a non binding advisory basis and compensation paid to our executive officers. Okay. Um, no, nothing. Nothing big, nothing big at all. No, no. XRP to the stratosphere after the lawsuit. <laughs> XRP uh, was making a move for a while. I haven't checked all crypto. Crypto is down today. You know, you're seeing Bitcoin that's down 2%. That broke 40 recently. Um, you know, ADA is down about 4%. Dogecoin is down about 4%. It's still above 20 but it's down 4%. Ethereum is down 3%. Ethereum Classic is down 3 Uh Litecoin is down 4 uh, XRP is actually up a little bit. That's up to $0.72. Cents. It's the only thing that is up. XRP just doesn't follow the rules, I guess, which is good. XLM is down. So once you, like, you're seeing all these positions that are down, XRP is the only one that's up. That's weird. Um, what's up, Matt? I sold all my ADA and bought more ORF and OCGN. <clears throat> Hope it wasn't a mistake. I think it's going to take a while for ADA to make a move, but I think ADA is a huge play and you probably want to be in it. Um, I'm not going to be in it in Weeble. I'm going to make that move in Coinbase and I'm going to stick to that and hold on to it for a while because I do, I do believe in where that position can go. Um, so that's a position that I'm going to hold on to, um, anchor, AMP, all of those, uh, especially compound. I'm going to build on that as long as once that does make a move, if that does decrease quite a bit, because I want to see a continuation of that bear run for crypto. Will I be scared and pull out of some of these positions? Absolutely not. So I will look to add to all of these positions for the long haul and wait for that bull run so that everything can really just take off. From owning, you know, let's say I'm owning about thirty thousand dollars, thirty thousand dollars worth of crypto, and that turns into, um, hopefully, you know, like a million or three million dollars, something like that. Holding thirty thousand dollars worth of crypto at their lows, absolutely. Just wait. Uh, Noel, thank you for the super sticker. <laughs> Level up. Yeah, I appreciate that. That means a lot. Uh, what do you think about uh, some of the YouTubers coming out yesterday saying they uh, will shift away from AMC a little bit and try to talk about other stuff? Personally, I think uh, that's kind of demoralizing. Uh, sort of. I mean, it is. It is. I understand where you're coming from. Sorry, I have this. Um, this. What's it? Is it some sort of bracelet? Snap bracelet. That's what they call it. Um, but yeah, um, I think. The way that I see it is I understand where they're coming from, but uh, to all come out at the same time, I guess, and say that. And I mean, I understand, you know, what Trey is trying to do. It's all about education. And I hear people all the time always saying like, oh, with the squeeze money, this is what I'm going to do, or I'm going to quit my job. And, you know, if I have $500,000 or $100,000 worth of a gain, I'm going to quit my job. And just know that that's not a, a lot of money. It's It's a lot of money, but it's not a lot of money that you're going to have in the end. One, you have to pay taxes on it. Um, hopefully it's long term, right? One, you're going to have to pay those taxes. Um, two, it, it's probably going to be something to where you see it and then you want to pay off certain things. So maybe you want to uh, pay off your student loans or whatever, but you get to that point and you have basically nothing left, right? 
So what's the best thing you could do is obviously finding a way to invest that money or use that money to make money. That's why, you know, it's great for people to become a money makes money member here um, just because you learn how your money can make money. And obviously it's going to grow as I start making less videos. I don't think I'll make as many videos when this overall squeeze is over. I will do a stream you know, maybe a quick stream in the morning where we go over stuff and then maybe um, a live stream, a live trading session as well, maybe on like Twitch or something and we'll figure that out. Or it might be for members only at that point just to do the live trading session. We'll see how that plays out um, and uh, we'll build a schedule and everything. But right now, it's really all about AMC and GME and it's not something where they're going to stop covering it. I think they're just kind of... Um, still adding still keeping that out there but also letting people know hey i have other content that's coming as well so support this content just like you support amc content um that's usually how how it goes i don't think they're abandoning the movement that's not the case <clears throat> you just need the, the polka dot to, to boom again there it goes uh, from 40 tokens uh, total to 120. Everything is down except uh, for witchcraft. That is a uh, farm. It's up 99%, but Coinbase is still hiding it. Yeah. I haven't looked into it. Uh, thoughts on Westbrook going to the Lakers. What? The hell are you talking about? <laughs> Los Angeles Lakers reach a deal to acquire Russell Westbrook, sending, sending three players. Uh, go on, pause this. Uh, three player package and, and picks to the Washington Wizards. That is crazy. He said Kyle Kuzma, good. Kyle Kuzma's horrible. Well, I mean, he's not that. He's not that bad. He's just horrible in um, late game situations and early game situations, and somewhere in the middle. <laughs> he's not the best. That is crazy. So you're gonna have a a, a big three there. Is that what you're gonna have? LeBron James and Anthony Davis and Russell Westbrook. I don't know how, how that's going to go. I mean, I guess as long as Westbrook gets his triple doubles, he's going to be fine, which he can with, 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 uh, with Davis and James. I feel like he, he can. I don't think I've ever called him James, so that's just weird. Don't know why I was doing that, but, you know, it's okay. Called him LeBron all all my, oh, not all my life, but the whole entire time that I've seen him on TV. I'm a farmer, uh, but definitely looks like a pump and dump. And honest, uh, I think honestly it comes down to people trying to be like Trey because of his success to seem, uh, so it seems like everybody is doing it all at the same time. I did want to say that, but I also didn't want to say that. Because um, you start to look at it and you're like, well, I can focus on other things as well. But then some people on YouTube will focus more on AMC while others are not focusing on AMC. So to get more um, more viewership and more people to come through your channels, I understand. Um, but yeah. And as other YouTubers shift away from AMC content, uh, you could fill the void. Yeah, I mean, I, as much as I can, yeah, I'm, I'm here. But... Uh, and Ben Simmons still ain't traded. It's because he can't shoot. He, he just can't shoot the ball. I don't understand. Other YouTubers aren't shifting away from AMC. They are adding uh, to their content and giving us even more content. That's useful. Get your facts straight. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. They're not just shifting away from AMC. You say LeBron is better than Jordan. I used to, you know, I used to respect your, your, uh, your opinion, especially $200 going to $200 and now I can't do it. And now I can't do it. 
<clears throat> you know what's crazy? The reason why I don't think that LeBron is the GOAT, right? And it's not even a bit. Um, Devin, bite your tongue. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, the, the reason why I don't think LeBron is the GOAT is because anybody that actually is great at a sport will never say that they are considered the GOAT. They're more humble than that. Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods, I just seen a video of him yesterday and so many other videos of him saying, people are like, oh, what's it like being the GOAT? He's like, I'm not the GOAT. You know, I'm, I'm still playing. You be the judge after everything's done. Right now, I'm, I'm not done. I could ruin everything right now. You know what I mean? So uh, that's where you look at that and you go, okay, you know, he doesn't accept that he's the greatest, you know, of all time. He's a person that has changed the, the, the sport of golf forever. Like literally nobody has done what he has done, but he doesn't consider himself the GOAT. That's the type of person that should be the GOAT. You know, same thing with Jordan. He says, look, I'm not the GOAT. I, I cringe at, you know, people saying that. It's however you feel, you know, your opinion. You know, if I've done work to make it seem like in your mind that I'm the greatest of all time, then great. But there are other people that have done things that were better than I've done, you know. You could talk about Bill Russell. You could talk about uh, so many other, you know, greats. So, but LeBron comes out and says that what that's what made me the greatest of all time. I'm like, what in the world are you talking about, man? <laughs> you know? Um, Ortex updated. And he tweeted uh, them out. They're over 100 million. Look at this. Yeah, shares on loan over a hundred million. Let me highlight this. Let me send this out. Uh, copy. Boom. Uh, seven. Alrighty, perfect. Hey guys, if you want to follow me on Twitter, definitely hit that um, <clears throat> that link that's pinned to the chat. It does help out, you know. Referring to the overall market looking the way uh, way down after hours, including crypto. I didn't know if uh, something happened. Saw China uh, might be issuing harsh new regulation thoughts. I haven't seen that they're issuing um, new regulations, I guess, on crypto. But if you're referring to the overall market plus crypto, I wasn't really sure. Um, Crypto just has its ebbs and flows in the market. It has seen a really good increase. And then when you see Bitcoin really make that move, you're seeing a lot of other things follow. But then you have certain cryptos that are actually, um, cryptocurrencies that are actually making a positive move here. I want to go to coin market cap and look at that. Because that's just, sometimes that's just a better way of looking at it. Uh, 
to see where the crypto market is. So it's down about 1% as of, as of a whole. I don't even know why I said it like that, but um, it's down to $1.53 trillion uh, worth of value. Um, but then let's look at some things here. Let's look at the last 24 hours. We do have some things that are making some positive moves, some positive change in the crypto market. But obviously you can look at some other things that are uh, decreasing quite a bit. You can see QNT that's decreasing quite a bit. Might have to make uh, some more moves there uh, because I do believe in where that position can get to. Uh, AMP that has made 11% drop. You know, you have a bunch of different things, but bigger names that are actually dropping versus the uh, smaller names that are not. You know, you know Internet Computer dropped 2%. Dogecoin dropped 1%. So, yeah, Litecoin 1%. So they're only down slightly. It's not like it's a complete crash. Um, it's something that's down just a little bit. <clears throat> All right, so we got about an hour left to the stream, guys. Hit the hit the like button. It does help out. Um, you're saying that, but also, also think the order, order to be the the goat. You have to have a certain level of of arrogance to to really get that peak level i think tiger just prefers big cats to goats <laughs> no i i don't i don't i don't think that's the case i mean you have to have a certain level of fight in you but you also have to be humble about it you know to to be considered you know the greatest right you need to have so many different um you know so many different attributes, right? I think for so many people that are um, that are great, they're they're really humble. Like they they choose to look in the past and acknowledge the fact that people were great in their own times. You know, you may be great in in this time. Somebody else may be great in another time, but you can't be the greatest of all time. You know what I mean? <clears throat> unless somebody, unless they, you, you know, uh, obviously everyone comes out and says you are the greatest of all time. Like there are, there's probably 70% of the people that watch golf or even that don't watch golf that will say it, it probably even more than that, that will say Tiger Woods is the greatest of all time. But then you have people that are out there, you know, like Sam Snead, who, you know, had 80, 82 PGA tour, uh, wins, right. Then you had, um, you know, Jack Nicholas, who obviously has the most majors. So you have all these people that have different, um, you know, parts of their game that are better than others. And you could say, oh, <clears throat> who's the best iron player? Who's the best, you know, uh, putter and all that stuff. And you could say different people. But if you have a point to where you're like, this person's the greatest in everything, then that person is the greatest of all time. If people label them that way. Um, but then that person's probably going to come out and say, I don't I don't believe I am. Jack Nicholas obviously has more majors. He's done a lot for the sport. So, like, that's what I'm saying is there's there's a lot that goes into it. Uh, so Apple is worth more than uh, the whole crypto market. Pretty much, yes. <clears throat> Eventually, the crypto market will make a huge move. But uh, altcoins have to obviously pick up because Bitcoin can't hold all of the weight. Uh, obviously, they're saying that Bitcoin... I've seen uh, articles and videos that said Bitcoin can get to 5 million per coin, which is absolutely insane. Do I need to wait until August 1st to join uh, to become a member? Or can I... Uh, pay today for august 1st i think you i think you pay um you like on the date that you you bought i think you end up paying that day and then every like month that's what will happen you pay like that way i'm not 100 percent sure i haven't like i I've, I've been a member on multiple channels but i don't ever look at that that come out i should probably check it um but i believe it's every month on that day that's when you your payment comes out I think. Yeah, become a member whenever. He just said he's moving into an apartment. Um, the last three months. Oh, where did I go? The last three months, uh, he has been saying he's moving into a house and now he's coming from uh, TMY's couch and other people moved to. I think this guy Trey is lost. I don't think he. No, I don't think he's lost. 
he obviously um you know is uh, moving different places I, I don't really know everything that's going on with him but you know it's his business I mean I acknowledge he's the goat Eminem acknowledges he's the goat. He's the goat of what? Of rap? I don't know about that. I mean, with I think with rap is a different story. Um, I, I'd have to say it is because in in hip hop, R and B, rap, everything like that, you have to have you have to be it's a single person like thing. You know what I mean? Like you're either the greatest or you're not. It's not something where you have people that's like team, I don't I don't know how to explain it. It's like you can't have teammates. You can have people that you work with, but if you physically come out and people label you as the best rapper of all time, you can be you can call yourself, you know, the goat if you wanted to, especially in rap. Because if people are saying, or oh, you're like ninety percent of people are like he's the greatest rapper of all time, then you kind of have to put it in there. It's ninety percent of the people. Everybody thinks you're the greatest. You can say it, and nobody has a problem with it. <clears throat> and I don't even think people would have a problem if Tiger Woods came out and said, I'm the greatest of all time. But um, the issue is like people, people that are still playing um, at team sport and say you're the greatest of all time. I mean, yes, it is uh, dependent on, you know, how many rings you have, uh, how your individual performance is, but it's also a team sport, right? So you have to be humble versus a single sport like golf, like tennis. You know, people can label uh, Serena Williams as the greatest of all time to, or the greatest to play that sport. But she said it herself that if she if she's going up against, you know, anybody in the top like 100 uh, men in order to, uh, to play uh, tennis, she would lose. She's she has come out and said that. Uh, so you can consider her the greatest of all time, but I don't think she'll consider herself the greatest of all time, even though it's an individual sport. So it's tricky. <clears throat> I like putt putt golf. <laughs> golf is a hobby, not an actual sport. Shaking my head. What? That doesn't make sense. I've seen some golfers that work out harder than NBA players. Like, come on. They it used to be something like that to where it, it was like, you know, supposed to be where you, you play golf, make some money, and it's literally just a thing you you uh, do with your buddies and everybody has like beer bellies and all that stuff. But now everybody's like an athlete. You have football players that are playing golf. You have basketball players that are playing golf. It's trust me, pick up, pick up a golf club for a week, a go to driving range and start hitting and tell me you don't love that sport. <clears throat> Just for a week, I would say. Jo uh, Justin Oliver, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Speaking of that, we'll go to members only in two minutes. Tupac and Biggie are the are the greatest rappers of all time. Period. See, that's what I mean. Like they can, well, obviously they can't defend themselves and say, "Hey, I'm you know greatest rapper of all time" or whatever. But yeah, yeah Biggie is is OP man. <laughs> gotta go. Uh, just got to work. If this stock stuff uh, don't work, I need. A fallback plan. Yeah, I hear you. AMC. <clears throat> yeah, let's look at AMC. Hopefully, hopefully taking our mind off of it. Ah, I was hoping taking our mind off of AMC would jump or push us or propel us into that positive movement. But it's Friday. We expect what we expect. I, I know that they're looking to pull us out of any type of, um, you know, options gain and that options gain would be, you know, probably above 40, um, you know, above 41, 42, 45. We're not going to see those movements today. I hope that we can see uh, for once, like literally one time out of the history of Fridays, we can have a really, really good Friday here. Right now we're at $37.57. We're down 55 cents, uh, down one5 uh, four seven percent. We have volume of one hundred and twenty three thousand shares in just we will alone. Um, I would imagine that's somewhere around two two hundred thousand or three hundred thousand for overall picture. Um, but yeah, that's where we're standing for AMC. Uh, GME probably looks a little bit more positive. I went to Jim. I don't know why GME. 
Um, it's a little bit more positive. It's down 0.22%. Uh, it's down to $164.50, only down 36 mm -hmm. cents. Um, so hasn't really been making a, a huge move this this morning. You did see a uh, gap up um, in the beginning of the pre-market up to $167, uh, $167, but then decreased all the way down to a low of $163. Um, and now it's at 164, so that's not that bad. Tiger Woods is afraid to say that he's the goat because he's seen my Wii Sports golf scores. <laughs> that might be it. Any news about Zometica? None that I've heard. I'm just sitting on it, um, waiting for that to you know make some positive moves. We did see it go up to 64 recently. Um, you know, almost 65, it resisted away from 65. It still is being shorted quite a bit. Uh, I wanted to look at, let's see, some of the data here. So let me just duplicate this and go to Zom. And I wanted to look at this to see what their level is. It looks like it's about 10%, uh, 9.42% uh, uh, or short interest of free float. Uh, you're looking at about 89 million shares um, from what we can see. Just know that they are shorting this over 40% every single day. As we do see volume that's coming in, 40% of that is being shorted. So you're including that with the sell volume, with the buy volume every single day. It's not something where you're going to see that continuously increase. Now, once you start seeing a lot of buying power, because there's over 350 people on Weeble alone that are following this. Or sorry, 350,000 people alone, not 350 people. It made it seem like it was a lot of 350. There's 350,000 people that are following this. So that's definitely an interesting uh, play there. Uh, let's see. Did I miss anything? <clears throat> Did you say golf isn't a sport? I know. Larry Bird greatest trash talker of all time i think he is i've i've heard some things <clears throat> and why are they not uh sprinting between the holes sprinting between the holes <laughs> that would be cool they do have a thing called uh speed golf or you can uh sprint between the holes i i would actually like to see them just you know get the round over quicker because the rounds do take a long time and i understand that they walk in between um, in between the ropes because it just doesn't make sense to just play with a cart the, the whole entire time. Um, you have to go to individual spots. You would have too many carts. You would have to have single carts. Uh, I think it would make the game a lot faster if you did do that. I understand the swing portion is, you know, kind of uh, the exercise, but walking around the course is also very difficult. If you've ever, um, you know, walked a, you know, 7,000, uh, yard course I I mean it's it's pretty bad I've walked plenty of courses and uh, especially with things that have like high elevation change it ends up being very difficult but yeah if they sprinted between holes that would be that'd be fun to watch but I think it's more about like the the repetitiveness um, technique in your swing and all that stuff I'm telling you uh Play play golf for like a week. I I want my brother to play golf for like a week. I'm telling you, he he would absolutely love it. Like so many people would absolutely love it. I picked it up and I was like, I wouldn't I wouldn't like this sport. So I just decided I was like, you know what? A bunch of people have been saying, hey, you know, uh, just pick up a golf club and swing. And as soon as I did that, I did not put it down. So I <laughs> I went to the driving range and I was like, this is so fun. Uh, my my golf swing was was horrible. I still think my golf swing is not the best because I don't work on it as much. I should, even though I, I have a simulator in the garage that kind of broke the screen. So I need to figure that out. But uh, yeah, I mean, you won't put it down. It's it's so fun, especially when you take a driver out and you hit it 300 yards. What? Like you're hitting it three football fields. It's insane to me because I was like, I was like, oh, you can't really hit it that far. But then I look at like a football field and it's 100 yards. I literally pull out a 56 degree wedge in order to, you know, hit it a hundred yards. And I'm like, I could hit a football field with a wedge. That is crazy. I can like uh, clear a football field with a wedge.
Trust me, it's fun. Let's see, uh, what's the next? A X A X S. What is that? What is A X S? Access Capital. What do you mean? What's the next A X S? Let's look at Max. I mean, it's not really making any notable moves, in my opinion. I mean, from 2020 down at 30 up to $50 is where it is now. I don't see it making any notable moves. <clears throat> hey, bro. Uh, Matthew Perry's Dusty's P Dusty PS5. It's still Dusty. Uh, it's your, <laughs> your neglect PS5. I hope you, you haven't forgotten about me. No, it's still over there. I need... So in order to play it, I can I can bring it over here, but it would obviously mess up the the room because I would need to bring it all the way over here in order to play it on the TV. But I have a connection that I need another 4K um, or yeah, a 4K uh, HDMI uh, cord to to connect to the TV so that um, it can be a, a simple. Yeah, because if I didn't do that, my Xbox wouldn't work either. But I have my Xbox on a single cord connected directly to the TV. But if I had uh, the Xbox connected to my Elgato, like I have now, with the um, the PS5 connected to it, then I need another 4K uh, HDMI cord in order to connect to the TV. So it, it none of them or neither of them work with the Elgato to connect to the TV. But eventually i'll i'll find something hopefully that made sense mate you're the only youtuber i've ever thought of signing up to become a, a member uh, it's always a great start to to the day feeling like sitting at, at the water cooler with the friends that's awesome that's amazing to hear i i appreciate you know you saying that and again i try and make it as cheap as possible to make it a community you know um because you can't really make it a community uh, unless you obviously on YouTube, the only way you can do that is if you uh, have people sign up for the least amount of money as possible or whatever money you could have. Like me, Kevin would do like four ninety nine for any any members that he has. Um, but I just think that's that's horrible. A dollar to basically pay twelve dollars per year to be a part of this family, this group is amazing. Um, whether you want to go up to the next level to where you do get a few videos, a few extra videos, and as we start to uh, limit the amount of videos that we put out uh, regularly, then we can start to get into the more uh, focused videos, the things for that money makes money member or that next level whenever I plan to make it. But I have to have some sort of consistency and I can't really get that consistency, especially, you know, with having two kids and, uh, you know, a wife, a nine to five, all of this other stuff. There's just so much. Um, but yeah, I, I appreciate you saying that. It's feeling like, you know, sitting at the water cooler with friends. Um, that's that's what I try and make it feel like. Um, oh, Axie, the gaming crypto. I'll have to look into it. Is it on Coinbase? Because that sounds very, very interesting. Uh, let, me, let me do it on... Uh, how many supplies out there? So 60 million. That's not a bad a bad deal. There's 60 million and the gaming crypto or this gaming crypto, it has uh, increased. This is all that we're looking at, right? All the data. Yes, it's gone from that 50, 50 cents. 64 cents, 50 cents or so, all the way up to a high level of uh, 49 cents. It currently is at 42 cents so it has decreased a little bit but it's consistently moving you know upward we have seen a little bit of a dip here from 26 cents down to 14 cents and then you know right now it's sitting at about 42 cents which is not a bad a bad play 
for 60 million that's out there total supply you have a total max supply of 270 million which is not bad at all i definitely think that this could be uh you know pretty big i guess it was created in 2020 so i like this i haven't looked into any of the details the use case but i do i do like what i'm seeing here and i like to get into a bunch of different cryptocurrencies as long as they have um as long as they have some sort of uh usability behind it that i'll have to read into that's probably by popular games like pokemon and and tamagashi it allows players to con like breed and, and battle trade tokens based on creating okay interesting very very interesting what happened to it it looks like it's on the right track i'll tell you that uh that is it something that i can buy on coinbase or no because again i want to hold as many different cryptos as possible cryptocurrencies as possible and then double down triple down look into some of those um obviously mainstream anything that goes on coinbase that's what i want to look into so uh access it's not it's not tradable on coinbase right now it's sitting at like 42 yeah in circulation is 60.9 million so um as soon as that gets tradable in coinbase somehow some way um i will you know buy into it but as of now it's not something that i'm looking into i'll keep it on my watch list just in case they do add it and then we'll go from there but can i do an annual membership i don't think you can you have to do something that's monthly it's only one dollar a month and i understand um anytime you get into subscriptions it's always tough i deal with that and it's 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 very very tough uh i hope it doesn't let us down thoughts on hcmc i have hcmc in my long-term account but that's only because it has the possibility of getting to uh, you know, higher and higher numbers. I did see that um, the massive increase that it did have was like a um, a reverse stock split and then I guess a stock split again after a period of time. So it wasn't something that just increased. It was something that gapped up based on taking away all of the supply or all of the uh, shares that were out there. Uh, PS5, I'm considering getting an Xbox just for the the new Halo game. Yeah, I mean, I'm... I'm considering the only reason I wanted um, a PlayStation was because of Spider-Man games, God of War, all of their like exclusive games that you can't get on any other system. Um, and then for I play Marvel's Avengers a lot and Marvel's Avengers will only have um, Spider-Man on PS, uh, PS5 uh, or PlayStation, I guess, because it'll be on PS4 as well. But um, that's the only reason I, I got it was to play with Spider-Man for marvel's avengers so i have to buy a whole nother marvel's avengers game on uh playstation i play with most of the people on xbox so uh playstation will just be for uh spider-man i mean i don't understand why they even do that i understand it's like a licensing thing but i hate them for doing that um i'm excited that it looks similar to halo 3 yeah i haven't even seen it Total of some some farm coin only 600k 600k max supply. That would be something that I did see. Let's look at. Uh, anything that has 600k max supply, absolutely. But if it's a high price, then no. I don't I don't see it. Maybe I'll go here. <clears throat> actually, let's see where you can actually buy Axie right now. You can buy it on Binance and KuCoin. I have money on KuCoin. I also have money on gate.io. So that's not a bad bad play, but I would have to would I have to transfer? I could transfer USDT to We'll we'll see how that plays out, but that's always interesting. Um, 
Let's go back. What am I looking for? A farm? Oh, is that what it is? Harvest Finance? It said that when I was looking over here. Oh, that's the market cap. Oh, yeah. That's very interesting. Super interesting. How old is it? Is this something that was just created in July? Typical hold time is one day. It was just added in July. I'll have to I'll have to hold out on that. Six hundred K. Six hundred K uh volume the the max that it could have is six hundred and ninety K. That's very interesting. That could be huge. That could be huge. Um no, it was created in September 2020. That's very interesting. I, I want that to drop down, though. I, I can't. I can't do that at that. Like, I understand the capabilities. I understand where it can get to, but if it was down here at these levels, something that has 600k supply, I would have been in there. I don't understand how I didn't see that on Coin Market Cap. Was it just added to coin market cap or, or what? I do myself a, a, I got myself a laptop and pre-ordered several games with uh, my AMC profits. I already know it's it's going to the moon. I hear you. <laughs> hey Matt, do you think, uh, what do you think about SPCE? Golf is frustrating. Golf is frustrating. I SPCE I think could be good. I don't know where it went from here, but I'm going to keep this up because this is very interesting to me. Something that has a 600 K supply that's that's ground for it increasing a hell of a lot you know what I mean so you look at something that has a million supply and you'll see that skyrocket 600k supply that'll skyrocket you look at um uh, YFI and how YFI is up it only has 36k supply and that goes up to a high or a peak of ninety thousand dollars so if this can get to some of those levels and you hold 10 or you hold a hundred whatever that could be freaking huge so I want this to I, I should probably buy two at least and then if it decreases buy a heck of a lot more because I think this is a this is a high price to pay but if I average into it with more and more as we go along, that might not be a bad situation. So, um, all right, fine. It's available on, on Coinbase, so it's fine. Say no more. No, no, no need to say anymore. Don't, don't say anything. So as that, if that does decrease, I will buy more, um, but I will continue to, to make those moves. But yeah, that's, that's what just happened. Thank you for, for saying that because I, I love anything that has a low supply, no matter the use case to it. I love anything that has a low supply. Um, it just gives you so much ability to grow. Um, when you do have that supply, the potential is so high. Um, I don't think it's at its lowest point. I think it's somewhere in the mid level right now. Um, but then once you see that start to skyrocket and start to really take off, especially something that's newly added to Coinbase. Yeah, it's going to be huge. Um, let me quickly go and look at my bank account real quick because I got to transfer some money.
Okay, perfect. It's funny how most of the pending like charges are, are coin based. <laughs> it's so funny. Guys, I'm sorry for, for stepping out real real quick to, to do that. Uh let's look at what's going on with somebody asked about SPCE. Um I think my overall thought was that um we needed to see that come back a little bit before we've seen that increase a little bit. So let's <clears throat> let's look at this and get a sense for what it actually is. So yeah, I was telling people uh, in the beginning that um you're probably gonna see this resist somewhere around sixty and a lot of people thought it was gonna break that. But um, the resistance looked a little bit too strong. So I knew that it was going to resist at those points. And that's exactly what it did. It found a way to resist at 60 again or somewhere close to there <clears throat> right before. And then you see it drop down to certain levels. Now, this may continue to drop a little bit more. I'll probably find some sort of uh, support level. I would imagine I was hoping for something around here. 23 is probably a better point, somewhere around 20, 24 to 23. Um, or even seeing something of, you know, this level of 14 would be amazing because then you can actually get in at the low and see that jump uh, to some of its peaks. So um, ultimately, I still see that coming down a little bit before that makes a move up. You might see some positive days in between. It looked like this was a fault. This was a good break, but it was a false break um, to where it did fall down a little bit more and now is in more of a consolidation phase. So that's what I think about SPCE. <clears throat> um sorry i'm i'm totally uh <clears throat> as i'm in the uk i cannot sign up for a uh, weevil referral link on desktop i can only sign up using the app <clears throat> do you know if i can uh still get your referral offer using the app yes i think so if you go um um i actually don't know um I think if you if you're on the phone and you click on the link on you, you click on the link in the description on your phone, it should take you to the app. I I don't know though, but it, it's fine. You don't you don't have to. Um, I just know. I think you probably want free stocks, and the way that you do that is by using one of the links. And the only way I think you can, yeah, I think you um, no, you can sign up through the app. You should be able to. I thought the only way that you could sign up is through the website. Arm just got added to Coinbase, uh, a little bump, but still low. Yeah, so, yeah. AMC short squeeze, uh, we've seen as uh, by the big whales, uh, investors in a market, uh, correction, market crash. AMC is uh, positioned perfectly for both uh, market makers will be our insurance and black friday sale soon just a fyi guys best buy has uh the macbook air for 750 dollars. if you're a student fantastic deal <clears throat> there are so many other there are so many other options that are out there for 750 dollars. there are so many better options out there i'm sorry if you're if you're a, a mac like fan like there's there's so many better options like so many people will buy the um the cheese grater that they have the the desktop like computer and you have to buy the monitor separate and all that stuff but so many people will buy that when you can build your own computer for less for half that price that'll have the same power and you actually pay for like the same price for a pc um you would get more strength more power in building your own pc there so i i just don't see the point I don't see the point in buying any like Mac, Apple product. I mean, that's just me. Uh, I've never been that type of person. My brother has, um, he I think he has a Mac computer, but it's like an older Mac computer. And now he has a laptop that he hooks up to different monitors and he loves it. And it's literally a laptop with a, um, a like lower GPU, like a less expensive GPU. Um, and he loves it. He gets everything he needs out of it, but that's just, that's just me. Farm jumped like a hundred percent, uh, yesterday and when they added it to Coinbase, yeah, I got 2.3. <laughs> Matt, 
Matt Cobb himself some Harvest Farm. Yeah, I, I have to. I mean, 600K supplies, that, that's, that's nothing. I love how uh, that's like, well, I need to at least get two. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I need to at least get two so you don't miss out on the deal. It's just like um, when, you, when you're in a position that you know is going to increase and you want to take some profits, you take a little bit of profits, you leave some in there for the potential. And if it ends up going against you, you now end up pocketing some money out of that that you can either put back in or you can just say, you know what, I gained I gained a lot out of this and I don't care if it goes to zero. You know, I gained some. So that's basically where my head is, is like um, I have to, um, coming in late, what platform is this? The one that I'm looking at now, this is Weeble, but the one before that was Coinbase. Um, but the way that I look at it is like get in two right now, just in case this does go to crazy highs like YFI or whatever, but then buy more as we do see it, you know, you know, come along. Cause if it's, if it goes down to $50 or somehow drops quite a bit after a larger gain, which you do see, I will buy in more and basically lower that cost basis average in. And I know that it's going to get higher than my initial point you know i bought in at 190 um i i have a feeling that it's going to get a lot higher than that so if i buy in at uh 150 120 100 50 dollars whatever i know i'm going to make a it's going to be a crazy deal Moved back to PC recently after uh, being a Mac for years since, uh, since they went to Intel chips. Oh, since Mac went to Intel chips. Driving to work, heart rate at one, 137 beats per minute. Max are for reducing music. That's it. Yeah, it's 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 not bad. Is it makes no medical logical sense to uh, have no science to back it. Uh, what exactly is happening with big banks being forced to to show their hand and in, or investments or whatever? Is that today or is that even a, a thing? I I think it's a thing. I haven't put any type of thought into it. I haven't looked into it because <clears throat> I don't know how that really uh, affects us in any way. I mean, with the overall market, yes. Um, probably real estate market as well. Anything they really have their hand in, I would imagine it, it's great for them to show where they're in, investing their money. Um, but I I don't know the, the um, full detail to that. Because I bought 50... 50 today before it went down to uh, 34 since it has come back to at least 46. Sorry, I skipped a lot. So I'm like working backwards and it just says I'm working for me. Um, so I'm skipping some stuff. Oh, I said I was going to go to members only. Did I go to members? I didn't go to members only. I don't know how much that's going to help, but we'll we'll see. I have only 500 shares. I guess that's, I think uh, seven, I think 750 is definitely worth it. If you have, I don't know. That's just, that's just me. I don't believe in that stuff. I, I mean, yes, it is a fast computer, um, but I think there's so many other options out there that you can build for $750. Uh, do you still believe in the AMC short squeeze taking taking the price over above a thousand? Yeah, easily above a thousand. Yes. Um, if not a lot more than that. Um there's gonna be a, a point to where it's the floor is a thousand to two thousand dollars. Um the the ceiling of the first first floor is somewhere around that. Uh, three thousand. I, I guess the first floor would probably be somewhere around that two thousand dollars, right? That's the floor, um, and the ceiling of that first floor is two thousand dollars. The ceiling of that second floor uh, obviously gets into higher portions to where you have that ceiling of five thousand dollars. Looking into you know another ceiling, another floor that you're looking at, 
um, which is ten thousand dollars. I mean, at the third floor, the fourth floor, you're seeing that up in the twenties. Like you're seeing that make its uh, way up, and I think that that top floor is somewhere around a um, hundred k easily. Um, but I always like to be a realistic. Um, because that could happen, but it also depends on how many people are holding and continue to hold. So I would say that, you know, one to 2000 is definitely likely, uh, 5,000 is, is, um, probably in, in the middle there. Uh, I would say it definitely can happen 10,000. That's where people are going to start seeing, uh, uh, like life changing money. I guess 5,000, they'll see life changing money, but you'll see a bunch of other people have life changing money. People that have a hundred shares, at ten thousand dollars now the million dollars so that's where majority of people will see life-changing money um obviously five thousand will be a place to where some see life-changing money but once you get to a point to where it's like i it's worth a million dollars and it's like th that's crazy how many people are gonna hold on to a position where they're holding 500 shares that's worth five million dollars probably not many so that's where you start seeing them take either full profits or half profits or whatever. Is there a bee in here somewhere? Sorry. Oh, that's not a bee. Okay. Um... What's your prediction for, for Tesla today? Tesla is a tricky one. Let's look into what's my prediction. Um, I'm not seeing extended hours. Why am I not? Okay, I won't see extended hours. Not not at this this look. So we have seen it get up to uh, some highs. If we're going to see a negative day, I would say the prediction is probably going to see it uh, dip back down. Um, yeah, it looks like it, you might see a, another uh, dip. We had a good day yesterday, which could be followed by uh, a pretty you know bad day. I mean, Fridays don't tend to be great across the board. So I would imagine we're going to see something, you know, a lowish bad day. Um, I hope it's not that big, but we could see a complete, you know, we could also see a complete reversal and we might actually have that good green day on our hands. AMC is only down 1.5% and we've seen probably out of all the Fridays we, we had, we had probably like two green days and one of those was actually really, really good, you know? So um, it's definitely possible. We've We've seen too many red days for you know, not to really expect a green day, but then, you know, we obviously look at Fridays and we go, okay, people don't want to hold over the weekend. You have day traders that are, that want to get out of their position, swing traders that probably want to get out of their position. Um, and you have the hedge funds that want to continue to drive a lot of these things down. But, um, I don't know. I would say, yeah, it's, it's crazy to look at some of these prices and go that, uh, you know, uh, AMC can't get to these if we're holding 80% of the stock and like you look at something like Tesla and I understand Tesla has fundamental value for being up at this point so people believe in this position there are a lot of people that short it as well but they have um, their free float is 802 million shares shares outstanding basically almost a, a billion shares right that is crazy compared to what AMC is I'm sure you don't have 80% of the people holding Tesla you probably have, you know, a good, you know, 65, 70% of the people that are holding that position, uh, maybe even less than that. So seeing how many people are holding AMC, it just doesn't make sense how we're consistently staying at this level, besides the fact that they're aggressively shorting this um, in front of our face and, you know, behind our back. But I don't really have a prediction for where Tesla is going to go today i would say it's probably going to retest some of these areas maybe 67 uh 667 um or even break to this level this looks like a really low level of 662 um i don't think we're going to retest some of these areas down here after that large increase uh you might see uh just a retracement of now you already seen a retracement of uh from 683 that large increase down to a close of uh, 677 so 
Mm. And the uh, pre-market actually looks pretty good uh, moving on the way up rather than the way down. We understand there is fluctuation here, which you're going to see with Tesla. But uh, just with the overall market, I mean, we might see a pretty significant, uh, you know, bad day. But we'll see. Um, Joy Ann, thank you for becoming a money, uh, a make money member. I appreciate it. Um, other hands are, are shown uh, when they make it simple uh, math to find out the real share numbers. Yeah, I guess. Buying and holding uh, every two weeks. Only problem is PC parts are overpriced right now. Absolutely overpriced. This is why I haven't built a PC. I went and bought a PC that was um, that was the only one available, and I had to drive uh, 50 minutes. Um, it actually was an hour an hour to go get uh, that PC, go pick it up from Best Buy. And it was a pre-built one because if I would have bought all the parts, it would have cost me a ridiculous amount to get the same power that I have in this PC. So no matter what, I just needed a PC that was probably um, close to that strength um, or at least has a, a good graphics card, good GPU um, so that I can put in the simulator, which I did. And the simulator runs so smoothly if it wasn't for that broken screen that I have. Uh, Dusty PS5 massively overpriced and uh, built a PC for a friend uh, a couple of weeks ago and uh, even secondhand <laughs> gets you a very, a very basic gaming PC. I love to see the, the complainers that have been uh, in since March. I got in June 3rd. Not a great day to get in. <laughs> yeah, not not really. Uh, still holding and buying every every two Tuesdays. That's awesome. Then you're finding a way to lower your cost basis every single time, which is good. Uh, Twenty four shares and proud. Uh, I'm. Am I correct in saying AMC doesn't usually hold over over uh, a million? A hundred million shares on loan for in front of our face yes it doesn't really hold that much over a hundred I think we've seen um, I think we've seen over a hundred but just not too far over it wasn't the original uh, GME pop on a Friday I have no idea I know they've made moves over the the length of of that but I, I'm not sure I think it was a Wednesday. Sorry, uh, morning, Matthew. Good morning. Welcome, Joanne. Yes, welcome. Uh, so upset. My largest uh, investment was in PINS, and I took a twenty percent hit yesterday. No, it's it's not bad. Did you actually, um, you know, sell the position? Oh, Pinterest. Did you actually sell? Wow. Holy crap! Over the uh, <laughs> over the after hours market, that dropped a hell of a lot. Jesus! Um, so from seventy six or from seventy two dollars where it closed down to fifty seven dollars um, where it is now, that is crazy to see that drop. Why would you see a drop like that? What's the news? What's up with Pinterest stock today? significantly lower Friday despite uh, announcing better than expected second quarter financial results the company reported 454 million monthly active users an average revenue uh, per user of one point or one dollar and 32 cents yeah, Pinterest reported quarterly earnings of 25 cents per share which beat the estimated 13 cents per share the company reported Quarterly revenue of 613.21 million, which beat the estimated 561.88 million. Then why the hell are they down so far? Uh, Pinterest said it expected a third quarter revenue to grow um, in the low 40% range uh, year over year. The company noted the U.S. Uh, monthly active users declined 7% in July. Our second quarter results reflect uh, both the second or both the strength of the business and recently shifted in. Uh, consumer behavior we've seen as people spend less time at home. Uh, Pinterest has traded as high as eighty-nine dollars and ninety cents 
and as low as $24.24 over the 52 week period. Um, the stock was down 20.20% down to $57.49. Well, give me the reason why we're seeing this. I don't understand it. It's 11 minutes ago, but I need to know why we're, why we're seeing this huge drop. A Pinterest, uh, Pinterest shares plummet as rallies investors. I don't know. I don't know why this is dropping so much. I don't see anything. It just gives me the, that's crazy. No, I didn't sell. Well, um, maybe average down. Can you average down? Do you have any money to average down? I think that would probably be a great option. Now you don't have to, you know, take my opinion because it's all my opinion. None of this is financial advice. It's really just going over stocks um, and the things that I do. You don't need to copy. But um, averaging down is always a great option in order to get lower and lower prices because if it's trading at these low prices. Um, it's not a bad option, especially if you're looking for something long term. Uh, if this is a long term position for you, then it's not a, a bad uh, play. Let's look at it, uh, you know, year to date. Because it has traded as low as $24. So, uh, you know what? This looks, I was going to say it looks kind of, kind of healthy for the pullback, but I would think you would see a pullback from up at this 80 mark. Um, we haven't seen, you don't see any type of level that it's actually resisting from. Yeah, that's that's pretty weird that it dropped so much. It, it dropped down to, Jesus. Yeah, that's crazy. I would say um, it looks like it, it finds a, it finds strong support levels uh, lower than that. So somewhere on the 60, 50 mark, um, you're going to see, uh, the support levels, I guess it's past 60. So 53 would probably be a level you would see that bounce from. Um, but it has made some pretty sharp moves in the past, you know, dropping from 88 down to, uh, you know, basically 69, 70, um, even down further than that, down to 53. So it has made some sharp moves over a short period of time. Um, but I've never seen something over that short period of, of a time. So interesting. They predict that the, the world opening back up, less people will will be using it so they expected this quarter to be lower. Yeah, but still, I mean, you don't want to, um, like you look at what's going on, that's a huge drop for one after hours market. Literally right after you've seen the after hours market, boom, it just hit. Somebody's, uh, Hearing long, maybe. Yeah, it's possible that you see a lot of institutions making that move. So it's not only like uh, retail traders. Institutions are like, okay, we made our profits. We're getting out of the position. We're putting it into other areas. <clears throat> Is it discount right now? Unless there's something else going on. I don't see anything else. It looks like it's a discount. Um, Got to buy some pins and uh, AMVS soon. Yeah, whenever you feel is the best option to make that move, it looks like it's down, you know, to $60, which could be a decent increase. You could see that increase over the day. Um, and it could be the difference maker. When you see that large drop, it could be on a discount. It could continue to go more. But I'm thinking with um, an influx in people that are like, oh, this is a steal. They'll probably buy this all up. So definitely keep that on something that you would you would watch closely. I'll look at it closely as something that could be a potential swing play really. So I'm gonna put that in the swings to see, um, and I'll put it in the most popular so that we have it both, we have it there. Um, have you seen hood on, on stocks with all negative? Yeah, uh, well I haven't seen it, but um, I, I've been watching the position. I've been talking about, I put out a video recently talking about um, uh, Robin Hood and everybody's saying short it, short it to the ground. Guys, don't get stuck in that same situation that the hedge funds are stuck in. They want you to get into that position so that you lose all of your money. Just don't. Money with it. I don't think it should be a long-term play. That's just my opinion, uh, not financial advice. But yeah, hope you guys have a, a great day. I'm going to keep uh, trucking to buy more, buy more AMC. Take care. Uh, have a great weekend. You too. Avoid hood, uh, my opinion. I hear you.
Uh, this is where I should uh, buy the dip, but I'm not going. I'm not going to. Have you warmed up the space heater lately? The PS5? No. Matthew loved the t-shirt. Yeah, I'm kind of just rubbing it in to um, the people that don't have a PS5 with the fact that I have a PS, uh, a PlayStation t-shirt, but I haven't played my PlayStation. So, just rubbing it in. <laughs> You're long on PlayStation, you'd be long on Sony, isn't that what that is? Yeah, if you want to, if you want to play like options um, on Robinhood, do they even uh, allow options right now? I don't even know how that, that all works. If like you're even allowed to like short it or play options plays or there's no data right now. Yeah, I don't see anything. Uh, where has the volume gone with AMC lately? We need a volume spike. So oof. the problem with AMC, um, volume is, uh, the issue that we're not seeing a lot of positive movement. If we start to see positive movement, that's where a lot of the FOMO buying comes into play. People buy on green days. Uh, they don't buy on red days, which doesn't make sense. I mean, you want to buy on some of these red days when you see the lowest low that it could possibly get to, um, and then you know see that price drive up as well um but people will buy on days to where it's up 10 percent, 20 percent, you know 30 percent, 50 percent. they'll buy on those days because it makes it seem like you're missing out on something but when it's red people don't want to buy um which is n not the mindset you want to have you want to buy when it's at those low times like people ask me all the time why are you buying crypto when it when it was decreasing, you know, they're going to say, oh, I'm waiting till it goes up and then I'll buy. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like buy it while it's, while it's low. And if you buy it while it's low, you can, you know, get all of those benefits of, of it increasing and not have to wait for it to go up halfway before you make that decision. That's, that's stupid. Um, if you see Bitcoin down to 28,000, you wouldn't wait till it gets to 40 in order to buy it. That's stupid. You, you buy it at 28,000, you know, like the, <laughs> And that's, that's just, uh, that's an opinion, but I mean, it should be advice from someone. Just not me. I'm not giving advice here. Um, it is already stolen from, from retail. Walk away. How's Sony doing these days? Uh, I haven't actually checked how Sony has been doing. It was up yesterday. It's not doing bad. Up to $104 now. I guess it's down to $104. It was up 2% yesterday, 2.6%. Let's look at year to date. Uh, we can see that it has growth. It has uh, consistent growth here. So not really making too many negative moves. Um, was up at $118.50. Has decreased a little bit. Had a double touch point up here and did decrease. And now it's starting its way up from uh, 91 up to 104 so it's not really making a, a crazy move does have a dividend so it could be a long-term play for a lot of people um but yeah that's what it's looking like not too bad all right i always check the top lovers first and the daily charts for for a tasty buy yeah What if someone got margin called an AMD forced liquidation in Pinterest? Um, could have been possible. I was thinking that. I was thinking that, uh, or AMC, that's what you're saying. Um, yeah, I was thinking that same thing is that what if they're like slowly pulling out of certain positions um, and dropping them rather than completely pulling out of their positions? They're pulling money out. Um, 
you know, time and time again, they're pulling out some. While people see these discounts, they start to buy them up, bring them back up to level so that the market doesn't crash in full. So they might be actually pulling their money out in little bits and pieces until they have enough room to do whatever they want to do as the the last ditch effort. Um, or just to cover their shorts. That could be a possibility. Uh, you never really know. So we'll see how this plays out. Yeah, I always check the. Uh, buy high, sell low. That's what the, that's the human way. Unfortunately, yeah. Thanks for that. No problem. SOS. Um, I would get into it, but it's nine o'clock. Um, I have to get out of here. I have to, you know, get to work. It's still, we're still dealing with, um, you know, setting up for the new year month and close. Uh, we're, you know, getting into the new fiscal year and also still dealing with year and close. So uh, I have to, I have to stop. So guys hit the like button, uh, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you guys uh, have the notification bell, uh, selected, even though some people aren't getting notified, please, um, you know, hit that notification bell. Also, um, you know, check out some of my other channels if you guys want to, if you want to become a member. Thank you to the two people that became a member today. Anybody that sent a super chat, Noel, I appreciate you for sending that super chat. It means a lot. Um, the 230 likes, anybody that hasn't hit the like button, please do so. That would be amazing. Um, but I haven't seen your uh, post while, while Pinterest dropped. We'll have to look at that. Do you... Uh, Anybody that's on Discord, if you have any information on that, definitely put it in Discord. I'll be checking that. Um, but guys, like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm sorry that I didn't even address Twitch at all. Uh, but anybody that is on Twitch, I appreciate you so much. And I will check it right after I get off the stream of uh, YouTube. If you guys want to join my Twitch, um, I don't think the link is in the description. I, I think I would I would have to post it somewhere. I'll, I'll find a way. I'll find a way to update my description. But if you could find me over on Twitch, uh, definitely go ahead and check that. It's Matthew underscore G underscore Perry. So go ahead and check that out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.